It's happened again, I've shot another match. It's time to have a look at the footage and see all the things that I did right, wrong, and things that I need to work on. Didn't go great, I came in ninth. Uh, ninth out of uh, 12 of us. Not a brilliant result uh, again, but there's some reasons as to why, not excuses, as we covered last time. Uh, there's some reasons as to why, which is no problem at all, things that I am actively working on, but I am looking to see what I can improve on. So uh, let's roll with it uh, on to stage one. Stage one, stage one, brand shout out, stage one. The first stage that I shot was building blocks. Check it out, didn't look ready. All right, so this was a stage where you'd shoot off these uh, these tubs and then stack the tubs and continue to shoot off them as you as you went up. Get back. Get back. Get back. Off to a good start. That last trigger pull was sort of uh, pretty poor and, and followed up by that other one. Uh, my, my gut feel, I'll give you the, the, the top tip, my gut feel for this match is that fundamentals were average, uh, needed work. And then I'm seeing that there with that, that trigger pull just sliding off the side uh, was not, was not great. Impact. Impact. So again, you, you see when I've got good follow through on the trigger, I'm generally hitting, and when I slip off the side and, and, and not focused on what I'm doing with that trigger, uh, I end up uh, swinging it. It looks like I swing it off to the right-hand side. I, I don't remember, but uh, that's the way it looks looks most likely to be going. Seem to be building positions all right. Being able to rest on the, uh, on the tubs pretty well. Again, that, that I think third, second or third shot in there, I was just uh, running too fast and skipping, skipping important parts of those fundamentals. It's probably because I'm not spending enough time uh, shooting and consciously shooting and practicing. That stuff is not second nature anymore. All up, I think uh, on that one, I scored eight points. Uh, top score was 12 uh, with only plushy doing that. A couple of guys on 11, a couple of guys on 10 and then a bunch of us on 8 uh, and below. So I was very much mid-pack on that and uh, and I can see why. A trigger, trigger, it needs some work, definitely. The next stage I shot was called on a roll where you had two dice, a white one and a blue one off memory and you roll them together. The white one would indicate which target you use. And the blue one would indicate which position on the barricade you use. I may have that the wrong way around. Positions, again, nominated for you. Uh, off a PRS Skills 2 style barricade with a couple of extra spots stuck in there. So let's have a look. Target four. Okay, I, I can. I saw as the, the camera came up that my legs are, are twisted and they really should be flat against the barricade. So need to work on that. Okay, so we're only getting one shot and then uh, then go back and redialing. So this is all about building strong positions regularly. Probably should have closed it up when I was on the gun. Again, just too quick off that trigger just to tap and, and letting it go. It's, it's sloppy, really sloppy. I have been noticing that in some, some videos, it's, it does need attention. Oh, I straight my, you can see my, my position there is a lot better. Look pretty stable. And I, I pulled the trigger and kept my hand there. So I, I'm, I'm not surprised I got that one. Oh, can't even get the, uh, it's not a good start. Can't even get the dice in the, uh, in the bucket, Rusty. What's going on? Again just snapped it and then came off it too quick and missed. So it's almost predictable. You can watch Target watch six. what you do, see that the, you're stuffed up and then the results are almost gonna speak for themselves. It's only when you get a bigger target, yeah. that really uh, isn't the case. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Target six. Is that a two or a three? Three. Oh, it's two and a half. Just the truth of grass, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how we go on this one. Better. 
better. And one of the things that I drew out from my last breakdown video was that I need to like slow down prior to running the stage. You can see here, I've rolled the dice and I knew what position that was to go to. I didn't sort of spend time trying to work out what position to build on each of those, uh, those positions on the barricade. When I got the stage brief, I thought through, if I come up against that position, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot it from this manner and same there, I'm gonna kneel here, I'm gonna do that. And so I, I had that game plan in my head, just to show him the, uh, the fundamentals were, uh, were lacking. So far, and it was the same with the, with the previous one stacking that I had thought that stage through and so, moving the gun over, being very deliberate in my movements, gun over on the bag, coming and grabbing another tub, putting it on a, sp a particular way, coming back over. That was all very deliberate and structured. So I'm, I'm thinking, we'll see how the rest of the match goes, but I'm thinking I, I ticked that box in terms of uh, prepping for the stage. Not perfectly, mind you, plenty to work on, but certainly an improvement from last time. Let's move on to my stage three. I say my stage three because we all shot these things in different order. This stage was magazine madness. And so we had to do, the gun would start on one bench, the magazine would start on another bench. And you would grab the magazine, grab the gun, put it in, shoot from the supported standing position. Uh, and then you would uh, take the magazine out, tap it, uh, and then bring it back and, and continue on that way, changing your positions as you went along. Magazine handling, let's see if we're any good at that. You can just see that I'm, I'm ready to go. I know exactly the steps I'm going to take and the position I'm going to shoot. Doesn't mean it's going to be right, but at least I've, I've, I've decided prior to getting there of what my game plan is. Okay, so two shots, magazine out, tap it on the side and back in. So that first one, I had my thumb up on top. And then the second one, I have my thumb on the side, which is my preferred position. And again, uh, we'll see how we load up this time. So it's sort of sitting on the side. It was sitting on the top and then the side. So you see on those first shots for each of that cycle, my thumb was sitting on the back of the gun. And my second one, I've moved it down to the side, which is where I'm more comfortable shooting it. And I missed the first one and hit the second one every, so far every time. So that's something I'm watching back now that I had no idea what I was doing at the time. This is why reviewing footage of yourself is really, really useful. Obviously that hand position is making a big difference for me. Uh, I know I missed those last two in that same position, but uh, that that was looked like sloppy uh, sloppy positioning. I ended up with four, four, and and there was a number of guys on ten. So I really let myself down on this one. This next stage is position, 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 uh, which was a couple of shots prone and then moving up uh, using the pole as a support uh, to shoot from various positions. Uh, let's see how we go. We end up with a seven on this one, uh, with the best score being nine. So not, not terrible, again, sort of mid-pack on this one. Okay, starting prone. Here we go, being tactical, you see that little movement? I'm gonna get off the uh, off the bench. So there's no point being in the middle of the bench. I'm gonna go off to the left-hand side, so I may as well be on the left-hand side. It might save me half a second. Not super useful my my skill level, but certainly someone who's more competitive, that could be the difference between them getting that last shot off, maybe not. Pretty solid prone. Uh, I mean, prone is, is usually pretty good. Here we go. What am I going to do here? So I'm pulling back on. See, that, that finger's crawled up again. Let's see if this is any good. Taking some time. Okay. Took my time. Again, taking that time to make sure I hit. Wobbling all over the shop at that point. It's not a great position. Should be, rather than pulling that gun back, should be trying to push it forward. Um, there we go, I worked it out. Okay, I'm not, not complete more. Just mostly. That, that, I'm, I'm super inconsistent with that thumb. Now I hit those ones, but I, I dislike the consistency. That looks pretty solid, to be fair. I was pretty happy with that. Oh, freestanding shots. Not my strength, as you guys know. There's no chance I'm hitting that. Look at that, that's, that's horrendous.
Yeah, that was pointless. That last position was so weak. I'm, I'm really reluctant to be to be using that weight while I'm still working on my shoulders. So uh, I clearly I didn't really uh, want to commit. To, I probably should have just let those two go. You can just see reluctance in my face that uh, I'm not enjoying it, and I'm I'm not even I'm not really even trying. Speaking of which, the next stage was called falling plates. It was entirely unsupported standing and I didn't feel like having my back messed up, or my shoulders I should say, uh, messed up for the next week. So I sat that one out, cost me some points. Hopefully next year I can start shooting that style again. Last stage was called under and over. I ended up uh, doing all right on this one. I was seven points. Top score was nine. There's one person on nine, one person on eight. So not, not bad. So this stage had a number of targets across different distances. He was hit to move. He had to shoot them in order. So it was all just off the bench. Maybe that's why I did so well. Okay, not, not a lot to say. I'm, I'm much better on that trigger in this position. Far left yellow, yeah? Close your bolt, Rusty. Close your bolt. <sighs> Amateur. All right, let's see what that breathing's like. So no, no rebag on this. I don't know if that was a requirement or not, but I'm not using one. I'm assuming it was. Okay, that was one of the misses there. I was looking at, I'm just going. And trigger pull looked all right, even though it was a miss. Again, I don't know if I'm, if I'm holding incorrectly. The trigger pull didn't look too bad for it. Oh, I, I remember what happened here. I was holding the wrong data. That's right, I, I was holding the other distance, I can't remember what distances we were at, but I was holding the other distance anyway. So, ruined that one with my process. Completely, completely failed. Back to my old habits. That was the match, five stages in this one that I shot out of six, and I, I've seen some improvement in my process leading up to shooting, although we saw it fail on one of those, and uh, so I'm happy with that development, that's that's good. I, I feel that that is improving. I'm, I'm inconsistent with my hand and my trigger, so I need to spend some time. Well, one of the solutions is gonna be multiple sort of processes, but to, to get better at this quickly, uh, I'm gonna dry fire. So what I'm gonna do over the next week is I'm gonna dry fire every day of the week. I am going to live stream that because that, that seems to make me accountable. I've done that previously. I will be taking advice. So if you happen to be watching it all, uh, jump on live stream with me uh, on Instagram. We'll do that. Let's get skilled up and practice and uh, get some uh, repeatability into this finger and hand uh, and see if I can fix that. Uh, looking forward to the next match I shoot and uh, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube type goodness and we will see you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks for watching.